Arcade 1UP were kind enough to send me one of their arcade cabinets that you can buy right now. And for the price, I might get the entire collection. But before I do that, I want you to take a look at how nice this cabinet looks in my home office. It matches my gaming theme for sure. This beauty was crafted to look the part of a classic arcade cabinet, and it fulfills that role quite well. So today we're going to be taking a look at this arcade cabinet and seeing if it's worth purchasing for yourself. As aforementioned, Arcade 1UP have a line of arcade cabinets that range from Street Fighter to Galaga depending on what you want to play. Arcades were a big part of my childhood. From the 90s to the late 2000s, arcades had all but gone completely, with the exception of the random ones here or there that were left over. It's definitely a far cry from where we once were. This is due in part to the age of the home console. But as a kid, one of my absolutely favorite things to do would be to find an arcade and play Rampage. As I grew up quite poor, it was a cheap alternative to play arcade games rather than buying new video games. Video games were still expensive even in the late 80s and early 90s. One of the best alternatives was to play an arcade game for 25 cents, and that's all it took for a few minutes of gaming happiness. In the movie theater, in the mall, wherever, a quarter is all it took for one game. And I always wanted my own Rampage arcade cabinet. But these cabinets are very expensive. Even for today, it's like $600 to $700. Those cabinets are also quite old, which would likely require quite a lot of repairs, especially with the CRTs that come in them. Yeah, you're looking at quite a bit of money you're going to have to spend just for one game in one arcade cabinet. Enter the Rampage arcade cabinet from Arcade 1UP a wonderful solution to any classic gaming enthusiast. But more importantly, you can introduce an entire new generation to the arcade experience itself with these arcade cabinets. However, does this arcade cabinet hold up against what you could currently buy? Let's take a look. This specific arcade cabinet features four games, Rampage, Gauntlet, Joust, and Defender. These games are decent choices for the Midway arcade cabinet itself and feature some of the best entries ever created by Midway. If anything, Defender might be the weakest entry here, but more on that later. I want to begin with Rampage though, as they chose to go with Rampage itself for the branding of the arcade cabinet. This is a good time to not only look at the game, but rather the arcade cabinet's art, controls, and the border of the cabinet. The controls feature some beautiful art. The art style is classic comic, and it's a delight to look at. The controls not only look the part, but they also sound the part as well. Those clicks are absolutely perfect for authentic arcade noises. Buttons look and sound great. The border of the screen itself is surrounded by more art that is thematic to Rampage itself, and the bottom portion even contains tips for the game itself. Well, most of them are tips anyways. In order to get all of this together, the arcade cabinet comes in a do-it-yourself style massive rectangular box and it will take you about an hour to assemble, which is just fine with me, given the fact that it, I have the ability to own my favorite arcade cabinet in my own home. This thing is a real treat, but enough talk, it's time to play. All the games that I'm going to show you have been recorded on a PC via an emulator due to the lack of an output on an arcade cabinet. The cabinet itself features a flat screen, no CRT, but most importantly, there's no output making it a very clean output to the screen that's included, but as authentic of an experience as this might be, it's also authentic to the fact that you can't hook it up to a TV. No output, no recording directly. So with that understood, let's jump right in. We're going to begin with Rampage, and join me as I go down memory lane. If you have never had the pleasure of playing Rampage, this game is simply put, fun. With up to three player co-op, you can play this game quarter free just by pressing the one player button. The game itself requires the player to destroy the city as the player controls a human that has been transformed into a monster. 
The player will be required on each screen to visit and destroy every building that they're in. These places are usually cities like Chicago or other large cities, and while they're destroying every building, they are also going to have to avoid obstacles like military helicopters, soldiers, and tanks. It's pretty simple fun, uh, a fun game anyone could actually play. Two buttons and a control stick, it's simple, effective fun. But while Rampage is the main attraction for Cabinet itself, there are three other games, Gauntlet, Joust, and Defender. Gauntlet is a game that's much more in-depth than any of the other games here, and in fact was the game that launched the Iconic series as well. This game allows players to come together and destroy hordes of evil monsters, minions, and spirits in search of great treasure. The players can choose between several classes, Warrior, Valkyrie, Wizard, and Elf. The game then requires the players to venture through a gauntlet of areas filled with locked doors, treasure, food, while their health drains slowly. Enemies will drain the player's health faster, and ultimately it will end the game when the player's health reaches zero. The goal is to get the highest score, because attempting to reach the end here will require an immense amount of time. And there are no bosses in this simple game, but there is plenty of fun to be had, especially with other players. Joust is one of my personal favorites, and that is next. This game takes the player and places them on an ostrich in armor, and then tasks them to joust with enemies on flying buzzards. You think I'm making this up, but I'm dead serious right now. The goal is, again, a high score. While the depth is shallow, it's fun and surprisingly a difficult game. Prepare yourself for lava pits and a pterodactyl that is impervious to attack. Watch out for him, he'll swoop down and get you quick. Most importantly though, you gotta watch out for those Shadow Lords who are ready to joust with you at any given moment. Yes, Joust is one of the most simplistic games, but again, one of the most effective. No lengthy explanations needed for this game, call over a friend and you're good to go. Finally, my least favorite game, Defender. Defender is, uh, well, it's interesting to say the least. You are tasked with shooting down alien ships, and you do this with some of the most aggravating complex controls on an arcade cabinet I have ever seen, especially for such a basic game. This game, these controls, well, unless you're a fan, I assure you the three previous games will be your go-to games. Defender isn't necessarily a bad game, but, yeah, this requires you to use a good amount of arcade controls, and if that's your thing, then you have another game that you're going to enjoy quite a bit. But Defender is by far the weakest and least fun entry here for me, so I would have really appreciated seeing a different game replace it. But hey, I mean, at least it's here. It could have not been here at all, so that's good. Final thoughts though, this is a gorgeous cabinet that fits my office and is a dream come true. I really appreciate the on-off button that was added, which is an addition that you would have never seen on an original arcade cabinet. Older arcade cabinets weren't really meant to be turned off and on so often, so the button is a great addition because, I mean, man, it would be really unfun to have to try and climb around it if you have it in the set area to turn it off. Yeah, whoever had the foresight for a button, really, you need a raise. The controls, though, are slightly cramped, so if you have three players, it might be an issue, but I mean, it's workable, and it's fine. They still all work. It's just a small area, so... I mean, I hope they showered, whoever you're inviting over to play with. And if you're only going to be playing one player, well then, yeah, that's just fine too. Everything works great. The controls, the aesthetics, the look, the feel. It's a wonderful gift for anyone, and I'm happy that Arcade 1UP sent me one. And hey, uh, Arcade 1UP, between you, me, and my fans, if you would send me several more, I wouldn't have a problem reviewing them either. But... What is the price, you ask? Well, it sits at $300, and you might question how a Nintendo Switch could be cheaper and open you up to a much larger library of games. Instead of limiting yourself in selection, why would you buy an arcade cabinet at the same price? The Nintendo Switch is not an arcade cabinet that is literally able to be assembled in an hour, but look and feel straight out of the 80s. This machine can be picked up at major retailers, and if it's too short for you, then you can buy an official booster that they also sell to lift it higher, to give you the real authentic arcade feel, standing and playing. To say the least, I'm extremely impressed with the quality and the feel and the ability to even buy these today. It's really amazing. 
And looking back a couple months ago, you would have had to pay hundreds of dollars, repair whatever cabinet you were going to buy, and that is especially prevalent with the old CRTs that are inside them. But yeah, the biggest thing here is that these can be built by anyone and played by anyone. And I really mean that because even a kid could put this thing together and have it playing in the same exact day. So it's really truly a magical experience. Now you can take it from me, I'm a genuine gamer. I love video games, I love arcade cabinets, I love classic gaming, and I assure you I, I'm not promoting this because I got paid. Because I didn't, they didn't pay me to do it, they just sent me an arcade cabinet, I asked to work with them, they didn't come to me. So my review is pretty genuine in nature, and I hope you truly did enjoy it as much as I enjoyed playing this and having this sit in my office. It genuinely brings a smile to my face to just look over here and see it. I have a Rampage arcade cabinet, something I thought would be impossible 20 years ago. But here it sits, and here it's going to stay. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. And I've been your host for tomorrow, and I'm signing out. As always, good gaming, God bless, and I'll see you in the next one.